Hi, this video is going to be about quantitative genetics and today I have prepared two multiply choice questions for you and as usual I recommend you to stop video here, uh, read the questions, answers, try to choose the correct answer and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the first question, which of the following terms is defined as measure of the variation in phenotype for polygenic trait in a given population due to genetic factors. And here is the four answers to choose from. And let me start from the end of this list. Uh, biometry is totally unrelated to our uh, question. Answer C, variance. And our question, which of the following terms is defined as measure of variation? In phenotype. So variance can be genetic, variance can be um, phenotypic, uh, variance can be environmental. So uh, there are different types of variance but uh, we cannot use this answer and now we have left with two answers A and B, broad sense heritability and narrow sense heritability. And here is the two formulas for both uh, these terms. So uh, narrow sense heritability would be h small squared variance um, additive divided by total phenotypic variance. And broad sense heritability would be h capital squared equal to variance genetic divided by total phenotypic variance. If you're still confused which answer to choose, here is uh, a hint. So uh, variance total genetic equal to variance additive plus variance uh, epistatic variance i. We use i because uh, e stands for the environment. So we use for the variance environmental. So plus variance um, due to dominance. So uh, as you see now we call this uh, variance or uh, broad sense heritability because it includes three different variances and uh, this we call narrow sense heritability. So uh, a measure of the variation in phenotype uh, due to genetic factors would be um, broad sense heritability. So uh, the answer would be A. And this is going to be formula for the broad sense heritability and this is going to be correct answer. Now we can move to the second question. Monozygotic twins are used in uh, human heritability studies because and here is the uh, five answers to choose from. Answer A, they are genetically identical. They are raised together in the same environment. Answer C, Environment, environmental effects are not important to the uh, expression of the genotypes. Answer D. Monozygotic twins are genetically similar in the same way siblings are, however, they share the same womb. And answer E. They are not used in human heritability studies. And I can tell you that this is not answer E because uh, uh, monozygotic twins used in genetic studies of the humans because uh, we, I mean humans, uh, do not reproduce as frequently as other animals like dogs, cats that can reproduce every year or fruit flies that can reproduce every two weeks. So uh, uh, we cannot uh, study many genetic uh, questions uh, in humans uh, by doing 
different experiments we just can observe and uh, monozygotic twins are very important tool in such observations and experiments so uh, answer d monozygotic twins are genetically similar in the same way as siblings are and this is not true because monozygotic twins share 100 percent of their genotype and uh, siblings just share 50 percent so we can cross out this answer also and now we have left with three answers answer c environmental effects are not important to the expression of the uh, genotypes and this is also not true because when we have uh, polygenic traits and most of our traits are polygenic like uh, tallness like weight like skin color and many many other traits and of course uh, on such traits uh, environment has um, effect like uh, Weight uh, is partly uh, depends on our genotype and also environmental factors have uh, their role like uh, what we eat and uh, other uh, quantitative traits have the same environmental influence so we can cross out this answer also and um, answer B, they are raised together in the same environment. Uh, this is looks like the true answer, but this is uh, not what is important for uh, such uh, studies. And what is really important uh, that uh, two monozygotic twins share 100 percent of the uh, genes or we can say they are genetically identical so whenever we see any uh, phenotypic uh, variance in monozygotic twins uh, such variance would be due to environment so we can study uh, how environment influence uh, different traits especially when to monozygotic twins are raised in different environments. This is how we can say, for example, such and such trait is 90% uh, due to genetics and 10% due to environmental influence or vice versa. And this is our answer for the second question. And thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.